Hi guys, so now that you've seen how to ink the background, um, we're just going to layer this card and we're actually going to do it from the base up um, and you'll see why in a minute. So I have a standard A2 size card here that measures eight and a half by four, five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and it's going to be a sort of landscape card so it's going to open this way. I then have my background so I'm just going to start layering as we go here um, that we created. So I'm going to layer this up very very quick and easy onto the base and it is slightly smaller um, than the base and than this frame. So I have that on there. Then I'm going to actually layer my froggy and I just want to see where I need to place it. So this um, image was cut using the, and this frame was cut using the Bayou backdrop and that's what this creates. Um, and then there's also the water. So I'm going to work out where I want this. Um, because I want him to be behind the, the bayou backdrop. Dubri, what's it? <laughs> so I'm just going to work out where my water is going to go. Water, water, water. I think that'll be fine just about there. Just get that on there somewhat straight. Now you could raise this on some foam if you wanted to as well, but again, with this whole series, the idea is to keep things as simple as possible. So I'm also going to put my frog in there. So now he's going to go flush. So we're not going to pop him up on dimensionals or anything because again, I want him to be behind the backdrop. So, um, and he was cut at two and three quarters and he's from Creative Critter. So, very cute little frog. Frogaroo. He's so happy. <coughs> I know, I can't help myself. I love a good pun. So we're just going to put him on his little water spot. He's just chilling out in the water. Water, water, water. And then this will layer on top of that and you see how he's going to be behind the little thingy bobs whatever these things are called <laughs> so he'll be back behind there um, I do have my sentiment and I do also have some um, from the same die set you can cut out these pieces that will create a um, oh, somebody told me what this was the other day cat tail is that what it's called cat tail brush thing <laughs> anyway so we're also going to put that on in here to create help create the scene um, but I think we'll be okay if I do that afterwards so let's get the um, backdrop on let's see if I can do this without making a mess <laughs> she says And without dropping it. I'm not actually putting any adhesive on the back of these things. I don't really need it to be fair. <laughs> attempt to get this on here without making a mess. Ooh. Right, because I've got wet adhesive I can just finagle until this is where I want it. My card is slightly wider than I mean, I measured it, but it's obviously a little bit wider than a, a true A2. Nobody's going to notice that. That's what I'm going to tell myself. So I'm just going to make sure this is stuck. So look, he's hiding behind. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to decide where I want these guys. And I have got three here. 
magic number and all that. And I think I'm just going to put them something like that. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Again, I'm just going to stick them flat. Just because we don't really need them to be um, two dimensional. I'm going to put this one in. Oh, no, they, are they in the water or are they just outside the water? I don't know. Like, oh, I'm winging this. So we'll put this guy on in the same way. We'll have him a bit higher. And then this one can come slightly slightly lower. And I always say to use odd numbers. Um, so hence why there's three of these guys. Um, odd numbers just seems to work really well when you're, you know, trying to create sceneries and things like that. So look at that. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. Right, and then I've just got my little Happy birthday, haha! <laughs> that I um, just stamped with some Versafine ink, uh, Onyx Black ink, and then just used my paper trimmer to cut into a block. Saves you having to have a punch or a, you know, something like that. Now I was going to pop him down here, but I might stick it up the top here. Um, 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 um. Where does he look? Kind of good. I think at the top is probably better and I'm actually not even going to put this on foam tape I'm just going to everything's flat everything's going on there flat there you go just stick him there there you go so we're going to jazz him up a little bit because he's a cute frog and all that so I've got some Nouveau crystal drops in a, what is it, white blizzard, and I thought we could just do his little cheeks, little cheekaroos. I think that would be very cute. Oh, I can't remember if I told you what size I cut him. Um, if you watch some of the other little mini cricket series thing that I'm doing, um, all the images are cut at to 0.75 or two and three quarters depending which machine you're using so hope that's helpful and then I have some glaze here so I might I want to glaze his tummy <gasps> is that weird <laughs> have a shiny belly <laughs> no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it <laughs> that might be a bit weird Right, so there you go guys. Super simple. Oh, and I also coordinated the colour of the cards to um, the images. So this is, I think it's Pear Pizzazz stamping up. And so I have a Pear Pizzazz background. So, I mean, card base. So there you go. Have a happy Easter. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, I can't talk. Stay safe. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, at the moment. And... Uh, well, stay safe always. I'm not making any sense anymore. Right, I'm going to go now. Have a good Easter. <laughs> Bye.